I invite you to find a comfortable seat, if you're able to do so with your legs crossed. Otherwise, extend your legs, sitting up on a pillow or a block, whatever is most comfortable for you. Sitting up with spine lengthened, sit bones grounded into the earth, shoulders back and down, relaxed, and the crown of the head opening up to the sky. Taking a moment to tune in. Find stillness before today's practice. Nobody knows better or more about what's going on inside your body than you do. So please keep this in mind, watching out for any pain and modifying accordingly. Today's practice will focus on relieving pressure from the ankles and the feet. I invite you to find playfulness, mobility, and strength. Now tilt your ear towards your shoulder. Do some half neck rolls in through the center to the other side, melting your ear towards your shoulder. Exhaling through center. to the other side. And take your palm and rest it on the top back of your head there, just laying there to deepen the stretch. And if you wish to go a little further, extend your opposite arm pointing out towards the ground to get a little deeper into the shoulder and neck. Roll on through to the other side. Repeating that, placing your palm on the back top of your head. And extending your arm out to the side. Sometimes when we're in pain, we hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders. This is just helping to relieve a little bit of that. Arms float out and up towards the sky. And take an easy twist, placing your right palm to the back of your left knee and your left hand behind your back. Breathing here deep into the belly. Inhaling out and up to the sky, an easy twist to the other side. Arms flow out and up overhead one more time into heart center. Now rub your palms together vigorously Creating some energy here and some heat. And place one palm on your belly and one on your chest. And breathe into your hands. And find your way to tabletop position with your knees stacked directly below your hips and your arms below your shoulders and press back into child's pose, melting your hips towards the floor. Toes can be tucked or untucked, whatever feels good today. And melting your forehead to the earth. Breathing here into the lower back. Round on up and drop the belly, lift the gaze, 
Heart pulls through the shoulders and round back into child's pose. Again, flowing through this round up, belly drops, cow pose. And round back into child's pose. Round up, tilting the hips, belly drop, gaze lifts, chest shining through and flowing back into child's pose. And take a few more breaths to kind of explore this movement and take any little wiggles or stretches that you wish. And continuing with cat and cow. Inhaling your left arm to the sky. Exhale, reach it through the space between your arms and your thighs. Again, inhaling up towards the sky, twisting gently, reaching through. One more time, inhale up towards the sky and exhale. This time you'll stay here, placing your ear down to the mat. And if you wish to extend your top arm in front of you, Breathing here deep into the belly, relaxing your shoulders down your back. Exhale, plant your palm into the mat next to your face and extend up, lengthening to the sky one more time and back down. We'll take that same twisting motion on the other side, reaching through your thighs and your ends, arm. Exhaling through. Lift and lengthen to the sky. And this time we'll reach through and stay. Placing your ear down to the mat and extending your front arm if you did so on the other side. Keeping your hips above your knees. Exhaling, coming up back and lengthening to the sky and placing your palms back on the mat to tabletop. Extend your left leg back behind you, engaging the core and finding stability here. Now extend your opposite right arm in front of you as if you're shaking someone's hand around the spine crunch elbow to knee again elbow to knee lengthen elbow to knee and place the palms down now engaging the glute engaging the core extend your right leg back toes paint toes facing downward and your left arm reaches forward Inhale, lengthen, exhale, round the spine, connect your elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen, and place the palm down and then Now, Shift your knees back about a few inches or so. Bend the elbows, pressing in towards the ribcage and lower down to a chaturanga on your knees. Inhale, engage the glutes and the lower back, cobra, chest reaches forward and back down to the floor. Exhale back into child's pose. Round up again. And take a chaturanga by bending your elbows at a 90 degree angle to the floor. Inhale, cobra. If you'd like to try taking your palms off the mat, an extra squeeze and round back into child's pose. Walk your palms back towards your knees. 
So now you're standing on your knees. Inhale, float the arms up and over your head. Tadasana. Exhale, left arm down towards your side and bend over to the left, keeping an open chest, open heart. Inhale to center, side bend to the right, broadening across the collarbones. Inhale up and cactus the arms, slight back bend. Inhale, gather the energy. And again, tabletop. Inhale, right leg shifts forward. And if you'd like to grab onto a block here to support yourself or make the floor a little bit higher and take some circles, gently massaging your ankle, putting as little pressure as you need to here. Inhale, arms place up on your thigh, engaging the core, engaging the glute. And arms float up and overhead. Low lunge. Core is engaged, pelvis is tucked. And now kickstand your left leg 90 degrees so it's facing the opposite end of the mat. And we are here in a modified warrior two. Foot is tucked for a little extra balance. Arms are lengthened to the side, gaze is forward. Core is engaged. Front knee is tracking over the toes in a 90 degree bend. Reach forward and we'll find side angle by putting your right arm on your right knee. If you'd like to go a little further, you may plant the palm on the floor. You may take your top arm if you'd like to bind today, reaching underneath your front leg and finding your palms. You're more than welcome to use a strap here as well. Keeping the chest open. Exhale, our top arm lengthens to the sky. Warrior two. And knees together, elbows bend to a 90 degree angle. Chaturanga on your knees, cobra pose. Exhale, child's pose. Walk the palms back up, arms flow up and overhead, slight back bend. Exhale, find tabletop. Left leg steps forward in between your hands to find a low lunge. And again, take those gentle circles to massage your knees, your ankle, take some movement through the joints. Chest remaining open. If you feel stable here, inhale and place your arms on your left leg. Core is tucked, glutes are engaged. Your left hip is pulling backwards and your right hip is pushing forward to square your hips. Arms raise up and overhead, feeling a juicy stretch through the front of the hip. Exhale, kickstand the foot back behind you and find modified warrior two. Adjusting the feet as you need to. Keeping a 90 degree bend in your front leg and a 90 degree bend in your back. Pelvis is tucked, arms lengthen. Spine is tall. Breathing here. Exhale, shift forward and find side angle. Lovely side body stretch here. And if you'd like to move a little bit more, place your palm on the mat. 
And if you wish to bind today, your top arm drapes behind your back and your bottom reaches underneath your leg. Making sure the breath is flowing here. Exhale, unravel. Plant the palms. Front leg meets the back and take a chaturanga. Inhale and cobra pose. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, walk the palms back up to your thighs. Arms float up and overhead, slight back bend. Palms meet the floor, tabletop. Let's flow. Inhaling the right knee forward, low lunge. Arms float up to the thigh and up and overhead. Inhaling. Exhale, palms meet the floor. Left leg kickstands to the opposite end of the mat, modified warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Palm can meet the floor. And drape your top arm back and reach under for a bind. Inhale, unravel. Exhale. Front knee meets the back. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, round back into child's pose. Palms walk back up towards your hips. Arms up and over, slight back bend. Exhale, palms meet the floor. Left leg steps through, low lunge. Inhale, palms meet, lay on your thigh or float up and over your head. Gazing to the sky, heart shining forward. Exhale, plant the palms. Kickstand your back leg 90 degrees to find modified warrior two. Inhale, side angle, side body stretch. Plant the palm to the floor and if you wish to bind, drape your top arm back behind your, your back and reach under. Inhale, unravel. Exhale, plant the palms. Front knee meets the back. Chaturanga. Inhale, heart shines forward, cobra pose. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, arms walk back. Float up and overhead, slight back bend. Exhale, plant the palms, tabletop. Inhale, your right leg through, low lunge. Arms float up and overhead. Exhale, plant the palms, kickstand your back leg. This time I'll demonstrate with a strap. Warrior two, side angle. You wish to reach down and grab your strap and drape it back behind you and reaching under, grabbing onto the strap. Breathing here. Arm floats up to the ceiling. Palms meet the floor, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, child. Inhale, the arms float back to your thighs. Reach up and overhead. Exhale. Last time, left leg steps through. Inhale, arms float up and overhead. Exhale, plant the palms. Kickstand your back leg to find a modified warrior two. Inhale, side angle. 
Take the palm to the floor, top arm to the small of your back and reaching through for the bind. Getting this last juicy strap in. Inhale, unraveling. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, child. Walk the palms back up to the thighs. And here we'll take a back bend. Camel pose. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Pelvis is tucked up and under. Glutes are engaged. Core is engaged. And take your palms to the upper part of your glutes. Make sure they're turned on and firing. And imagine that there's a beach ball and you're just rolling behind and your heart is gleaming forward almost like a shelf. Breathing here. Exhale, use your core to help you come up. Palms find the earth here for a moment to ground. Not putting too much pressure into the ankles. And again, we'll take camel's pose one more time. Hips pushing forward. Glutes are engaged, and if you wish to reach back for your heels, to find a deeper expression. Breathing here. Tucking your chin to come back up. And again, grounding down on the mat. Come to your seat and roll back onto the mat, taking a moment to massage your lower back. And now we'll do yogi bicycles for some core, bending in one leg and extending the other. One, two, switch, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Eleven, twelve. Pull, pull, switch, switch. Keeping your tailbone pressing into the ground, switch. Ah, knees can come into the chest. Relax your head and neck onto the ground. Rolling side to side, massaging your lower back, melting your shoulders to the mat. If you have a block handy or a blanket, I invite you to press your hips up and place this block or blanket or pillow just underneath your sit bones, your lower back to take a supported bridge. Shoulders down from your ears, releasing through your lower back. Taking a few more breaths here. If you wish to extend your legs to the front of the mat to get a little deeper into the hip flexors, your hips, the front of the body. A lot of times we sit hunched over. So it's nice to give your front body a little room to breathe. Bend the knees. Plant the feet on the floor and engage your glutes 
to lift up and remove the block or pillow from underneath you. Take your feet as wide as the mat and knock your knees together here. This is a great release for your lower back. Now, take your strap and place it up to the top corner of your mat where it's accessible. Bend your right knee and place your ankle on top of your right, your left knee and pull in, either holding onto the ankle, the shin, or the thigh. Stretching into the hips, maybe rolling side to side gently. Using your arms to push your knee away deep in, into the hips. Now grab your strap, drape it around your right foot and straighten the leg. You may keep your left leg bent or extended. And here just rolling your foot side to side, taking the most gentle stretch in through your ankle. Pull in, stretch into the hamstring. Now, place your strap into your right hand and extend your right, your right leg to the side. Breathing here, exhaling back up to center, switch hands with the strap and your right leg about four inches over to the left, stretching all the way down the outside of your leg. Breathing here. Exhale, strap back into your right hand and bend your right leg down towards your armpit. Getting into the belly of the hamstring. Bend the left knee, place it, your right ankle back on top of your left knee. Pull in for one last hip stretch. and release back down to the mat. Pausing here for a moment. Now take your left ankle and place it just above your right knee. Pull in, holding on to either the thigh or the shin. Tailbone pressing towards the mat, chest remains open. Collarbones are broad. Now grab onto your strap, loop it around your left leg, the ball of your foot, and either bend or extend the right leg. Again, taking those slight ankle movements ever so gently, twisting your foot, rotating it inward and outward. Slight pull. To stretch into your hamstring. And take the strap into your left hand and let the leg fall out to the side. It's keeping the thigh engaged. Your thigh is working to stay up just as much as it is to float down. Inhale back to center, switch hands with the strap into your right and take the leg two to four inches across your body to get into the outside of the leg. A 
exhale to center. Strap back into the left hand and bend your left knee into your left armpit. Releasing the strap and taking your left ankle just above your right knee again for the hip stretch. Supine pigeon. And releasing your feet back onto the floor. You'll toe your feet to the outside of the mat, keeping your, he your heels flexed. Go ahead and windshield wiper your legs back towards the left, through center, and down towards the right. Good. Knees into the chest. Feet grabbing the calves this time to find happy baby. Tailbone pressing down to the mat. Maybe rolling from side to side. And finding stillness. Knees float back into the chest. And I invite you to take legs up the wall today to close out our practice. I'll give you a few minutes to find the wall, clear some space. Sitting your side right up next to the wall and draping your legs so they're supported. Having your legs up the wall does wonders for refreshing all of the blood, helping your circulation and reducing swelling and reducing pain. Nobody knows more about what's going on in your body than you do. Deepening the breath. Arms can be up overhead to the sides or resting on your belly. I will leave you here today to enjoy legs up the wall or Shavasana for as long as you wish. I wish you a strong, positive, and powerful healing process. Thank you for tuning into your body, and thank you for sharing this practice with me here today. Namaste.